In this video, we'll look at how to make a linear regression or a line of best fit using Google Sheets. So first I've entered some data here. The x values are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And here are the y values. You can, of course, enter whatever data you want. So I have my x values, I have my y values. I highlight the whole table. And then I go insert and down to chart here. When you insert a chart, it automatically assumes you want a bar graph, but it brings up the chart editor, which allows you to change the chart type. So we'll click on chart type and scroll down to the scatter plot. It's called scatter here. And we'll choose that. Now it's got this nice scatter plot, and we want to draw a line of best fit or a trend line or a regression. They're all the same thing. So, in order to do that, we click on our points. Any one of the points will do. And you'll see, as soon as you click on one of the points, this option here for trend line appears. Click on trend line, the line of best fit appears. It gives you some options. You could change this to a non-linear trend line, but we're looking at line of best fit. So let's keep it linear. You could change the color. You could make it a little bit darker. It just makes it easier to see. But the important thing for us is to make sure that we can see the equation. So where it says label, click on label, and it says use equation. The equation appears. There should be a y equals here. This equation is y equals 4.5x plus 8.9. And then we click on this spot, which allows us to see the r squared value. To get the correlation coefficient, you would just square root this value. And that's how you create a line of best fit using Google Spreadsheets. That is, you just make your chart, change it to a scatter plot, add the trend line, which we clicked on here, and then make sure you label use equation and show the R squared. That's all there is to it.